the match function is actually just the first part of a VLOOKUP function. So if you know VLOOKUP, this should be very easy. You'll see here we've got the exact same example we use in our VLOOKUP lectures. And for example, over here we want to pull out student A111. What is their result? The match function, instead of bringing back the actual result, what it does is it tells you where it would find the result. So it's pretty similar to VLOOKUP. The first thing is what's the lookup value? I'm going to say look there. Then it asks where must it go look. Now unlike VLOOKUP, here you only highlight where it must look. So it's only that column. I'm going to put my dollar signs on. And then you get the match type which is similar to VLOOKUP where it wants to know must it find an exact match or an approximate match. So in this case I want to find exactly that student. So we're going to type false or we could type zero. And when I say OK it gives me a 5. What 5 means is it's looked for that student number in this list and it's telling you that it found it in the fifth item. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So instead of giving you the answer, it now tells you where it is. Similar to VLOOKUP, if I copy this down, it gives me an NA. Why an NA? Because it's looking for student A150 and that student doesn't exist here. So this is telling us that that student is not in this list. So match is just the first part of a VLOOKUP and it can be very useful to find out where the item would be found as opposed to actually bringing back a number. In the same way that VLOOKUP has the option of being an exact match or an approximate match, match can do the same thing. So here I want to pull through the symbol that relates to this result. So again I do a match. The lookup value is that number over there. The lookup array is only that section there and in this case the match type we need to put true or a 1 and what we're telling Excel is that it needs to go and find where the best fit is keeping in mind that this must be in ascending order. So when I copy this down what this is doing is giving us a 4 because what it's done is it said 68% it goes here and it goes down until it finds the next biggest number and it says okay I think it's over here and that's the fourth item one two three four in the list. So it returns the same logic as VLOOKUP except VLOOKUP goes that one step further and you can pull through the symbols. Match just tells you where it would match it.